Hey, I'm Tommy Lee Edwards. I'm welcoming all my AWA fans to come check out the studio. Get to see where I draw and well, basically where we make uh, Grendel, Kentucky. Come check it out, I'll show you. All right, here's where uh, the magic happens. <laughs> all, right. all right, so um, uh, since I'm always working on lots of different things at once, I've got all my computer digital work I do over here um, on my uh, Mac with my Cintiq 36-inch uh, Pro, and then um, yeah, and then there's lots of stuff in here that I this is I feel like in order to be inspired, you got to surround yourself with the stuff you like. So you're gonna see a lot of a lot of junk. Um, this is a, if I ever have. Sometimes I'll be working on animated projects and stuff, so I'll have a, a spot for an assistant to hang out. Um, and over here is where I do all my paintings. And on the other side over here is where I do all my ink drawings. So I've kind of got it set up where I can usually have a few different things going on at once. So I can show you some stuff if you want. What's your favorite toy here? Mm. Or, or sorry, action figure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I love that Godzilla from from uh, GMK, but but this one I've had since I was a little kid. This Godzilla right here. So that's kind of nostalgia reasons. I like that one. Oh yeah. Same with some of the Shogun Warriors and stuff. Was there anything in this room that inspired you for Grindel, Kentucky? I really love monsters, but they're all pretty giant. So there's no, there's not really any, I guess you could sort of consider one of the monsters in Grendel, Kentucky to be a kaiju, but. Mm, interesting. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, and there's a lot of Ray Harryhausen stuff I like too, like the, you know, Sinbad movies and Jason and the Argonauts and that. So I've always wanted to do some monster stuff. So, so now Great. I get to. Can you tell us a little bit more about Grindel, Kentucky? Uh, Grindel, Kentucky takes place in the early 70s, so it's kind of cool because it's when a lot of my favorite comics and movies were made. So, <clears throat> not just monster movies and horror stuff, um, but also there's a lot of like really cheesy biker movies and stuff. Um, but I used to ride motorcycles for about 10 years, and then I started just segueing more into doing restoring cars and stuff so so it's all stuff that I really like so it's selfishly it's like my favorite kind of stuff to draw but um, so I, I like trying to nail the authenticity of the time period and the costumes and the hair and you know everything yeah. like that so that that's really fun what were some of your favorite comics and movies from back in the day like the EC horror stuff but mostly the, all the warren magazines like creepy and eerie and stuff that was being done at that time alex toth and and uh gosh al williamson and all these guys doing all the stuff that i that i pull out for inspiration pretty much every day yeah um so, so grendel kentucky i think needed to be drawn traditional with ink on paper um Partly because of my inspiration being, being uh, and it being in, set in the 1970s, um, you know, it's like watching a Western shot digitally and not on film. You know, even though film didn't even, you know, motion pictures didn't really even get made then, but there's something about the time period and needing to do it uh, in a, a medium that existed at the time for me. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, so Grendel's all done with ink and mostly a brush on this um it's actually just like a a thinner bristle um but yeah you can see what i like about this too is is what i like about working with the brush is there's a lot of um uh little happy accidents and stuff sometimes they're not happy and you got to go in with some white paint but for the most part also i like a toothy paper a cold press paper so the See how the ink picks up the texture? Um, I like that. Um, I like to... And it's funny because... Well, the next page I can't show you guys. That's a spoiler. 
That's a spoiler. Uh-oh. We're, we're focusing down here, then. <laughs> Tell us when it's ready. Okay, you can look at this stuff. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at the detail on the feathers. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very... But, you see, there's so... I looked up how do we do, uh, you know, a weed farm, basically. You know? Oh. So, I had to research... Um, yeah, I had to research... Uh, how they might grow and dry and uh, distribute the marijuana plants. We should work with a company and do a Grindle tour. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so there's also like, there's a certain, the cars, the costumes, everything like that, I really wanted to, to nail it. So like here we've got, you know, these, these, uh, you know, these, this guy's growing all kinds of different plants. Some of them are the marijuana plants that they have. So that's how this town makes its money, is they grow these plants and everything's doing really well. And the way that they basically, the families and the town thrives that way because the mines are all closing down and, you know, mining coal is, you know, so this guy's like, well, I've, I can uh, take care of everybody and not have everyone die of uh, black lung then great but let's see a lot of the a lot of the vehicles actually let me find oh, i like this page <laughs> i like some of the quiet pages are my favorite just the uh character stuff and um this this character paps he's i like him a lot and drawing him and he's just I tried to, I think, I think Jeff, um, Jeff and I let the, there's no lettering on this page either. Uh, John Workman letters all my work. He does it by hand, but he does it on another sheet. And then I put it together in Photoshop, but he, I like that we just spend some time with him and you get to know a little bit about him. Maybe he was married and it's not anymore maybe she's not with us anymore maybe you know he he has one arm how did he lose that arm mm. he's a veteran he makes dinner sits there by himself every day and then goes out and tends to his garden and then yeah. how is his garden thriving so well we find out later oh <laughs> yeah. mm. so feels like this you know there's a lot of mining towns around here even though they might not be coal mines you know there's a lot of places uh around here that i can use for reference um you know like there's a truck that i've been working on at my friend's garage that is an old uh international travel all from 1971 so i i so i've access to lots of good reference for the vehicles too so i can kind of it helps to make it authentic you know, this uh, Plymouth Fury uh, police car. I love that car. Um, so, yeah, here's, like, I thought maybe they'd dry the plants in this barn and they have this whole operation going on and then they, you know, goes around and distributes. So, yeah, it's... Well, this is the very first... Oh, this is the very first page one of Grendel right here. Ooh. So even, like, this old GMC truck... Um, I just love drawing all this kind of stuff. So, so we see him. This is uh, Clyde. He's getting ready to go into the old mine, and he's getting geared up. Uh, and we're gonna be wondering why. <laughs> <laughs> so here he goes. So when Jeff or Axel first uh, was like, "Hey, we want to do this Beowulf thing," what yeah. did you think? Um, I thought it was a really cool idea. Um, I really like so much of the, I think what really hooked me was all the stuff that I would get to draw, which is, I, I like drawing superhero stuff and all that. And I think my m most recent comics were Gerard Way and I created Mother Panic for DC. And then mm. we did, uh, Umbrella Academy special together, a Christmas wow. thing. But beyond that, like... I like to draw more real people type stuff, so so I like I like doing this kind of stuff where it's um 
you know, it's instead of a guy with powers, he's a guy with a whole bunch of gear. <laughs> and, um, uh, but then we've got monsters and, you know, everything else. So, so yeah, it's, uh, I like, there's some great visual ideas in the book that kind of sold me on it. Like stuff that, um, again, like, uh, like this one where, uh, Marnie is kind of the daughter that leaves town and, uh, comes back, you know, 10 years later and she has to literally face her demons now. There's that, there's that travel all again. Um, so she hasn't been in town, much less gone in that damn tunnel for the past, uh, several years. Lots of fun. So you can find out really what happens to Marty when she goes in there, uh, starting September 2nd, uh, four issues. I'm almost done with number four, so I'll be bummed when it's over, but I'm having a lot of, a lot of, a real good time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tommy Lee Edwards here in North Carolina in my studio where uh, I make the artwork for Gretel, Kentucky. Uh, Jeff McCombsy and I would like to thank you, uh, all the readers out there that have been supporting our book. Uh, this means a lot to us. Um, and I'm really grateful that AWA gets to do some cool creator-owned stuff with us. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it.